Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I was just about to go to the hospital. Oh. <laughs> so, um, how's your family? No, Kenny's back is healing. Good. The swelling in his brain is almost gone. And the kids are getting tired of Aunt Terry's rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about Aunt Terry? Is she getting any rest? Oh, please. I'll rest when I'm dead. Oh. No, really, I'm fine. I'm fine. How are things at the office? Great. Actually, that's why I came by here today. Uh, Walker and King are doing fine with the cases you assigned to them. Oh, good. And with you doing the more complicated stuff from home we're managing? I'm going to have this Taylor brief ready by tomorrow. Great. Good. That... <sighs> I don't want to seem insensitive, Terry, really. I don't. I know it's only been a week and a half, but do you have any idea when you're going to be back? <laughs> you're getting pressure? That meeting you were supposed to have with the partners is still pending. Now, they said take all the time you need, but... Uh, you don't think it's wise? I'll figure it out. Well, you always do. Um, I, um... Go. Why is Doug telling my clients I'm going to be out for the rest of the year? Before you come at me with that accusatory tone, remember who showed up on your doorstep last night. <sighs> I'll have one of those. You got... Nah. Yeah. Thank you. By the way, it's nice to see you. Mm-hmm. Well, look, you tell Doug and whoever else needs to know that I'm coming back to work. Tomorrow. Great. Great. Let me know when you're ready to see Green and Norris. I'm back tomorrow, so you might as well let the games begin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll schedule the meeting. Damn it. Um, Go. Uh, Go. Given the absurdity of her partnership request, the decision we have to make is embarrassingly simple. Oh, make your point, Doug. Well, it's the clearest evidence yet that she lacks understanding of the Green Norris way. Isn't the Green Norris way to bring in clients? She brought in the top two last year. Yeah, and a couple of companies have bluntly stated that they're with Green Norris because Terry Joseph's with Green Norris. Granted, a request would set a damaging precedent. Every day we'd have junior associates coming to us and telling us what he or she deserves. Besides what's right and what's wrong, we have to look at what's smart. I was wondering when someone would bring up that small point. Yeah, I have to agree with Brian. I mean, look, Terry's one of the top three performing associates at this firm. It, that translates directly into dollars in our pockets. Now, the down and dirty gentleman is we try a lot of discrimination cases. And our clients like having an African-American female at the council table when they're being sued by an African-American or a female. Look, I'll be the first to say I don't believe her threat to quit. She makes 250 k a year. She has a big house, a big car, a big family. Where is she going to go? Nowhere. Because the bottom line is that Terry Joseph's good for business. Now, how about we soft-shoe the partnership issue and let her think she's a shoe-in next time we vote? Well, if I were a betting man, I'd say Terry Joseph's not the kind of gal you can soft-shoe. But since I'm the only non-believer here, let's go forward. Thank you, Mr. Pirelli. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, Terry. Hello, Terry. Nice to see you. Morning, Terry. Well, <clears throat> first, let me say how happy we all are that you're back in the office. Good to be back. We missed you. And not as much as your clients did, so we assured them all you'd be back soon. Thanks, Doug. Well, it's good to be back, and I miss this place very much. Let me get right to the point. We can't make your partner right now, Terry. We just can't afford to set that kind of precedent. Uh, we've never had a special meeting to make anyone a partner. I know you'll agree that it's not in the best interest of the firm to change its policy for one associate. Hmm. Even our most valued one. The good news is 
The last time we voted, you only had your department support. But after the year you've had, I'm sure support will be firm-wide the next time we vote. Well, you know something? That really sounds good. Sorry, excuse me. So you edit so important. I asked you now three times to hold my calls. I told you when I got here this morning. Tell Bert to meet me at the doctor's office. Okay, I'll call right back. Thank you, Gloria. I apologize. Now, I would never do anything to compromise this firm. And now that I know that I will be made partner next year, I am willing to wait for it. As long as you are willing to put this agreement in writing. <laughs> well, you know we can't do that. Can't you? Well, it just seems to me that if you're willing to assure my clients that I'd be here, you should be willing to assure me of the same thing. Well, if you don't feel comfortable putting it in writing, I'm going to assume that you're making a promise you have no intention of keeping. We won't put it in writing, Terry. Well, then I don't know what choice I have. I'll have to resign, which is, I guess, exactly what I'm doing. Consider this my two weeks' notice. Terry, maybe you need more time to think about this. You know, Brian, that's exactly what I don't need. Right now is when my family needs me, and maybe one day that won't be as true, and I'll go back to work. But just not here. If you'll excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Oh, Terry. Don't do this. Don't do what? Let those assholes keep jerking me around or try to save my sister from a nervous breakdown. Look, I know how horrible the past 10 days have been for you. I know how worried you are about your family. But you just don't walk away from this kind of job. It doesn't make sense. It does make sense for you. I'm not a privileged white male with an Ivy League education. I can't believe you're turning this into a racial thing. I just want you to understand that this decision makes sense for me. I'm not a failure if I don't make it here. I was a success the minute I left Chicago Southside without a crack habit, a bullet in my head, or a baby on my hip. My law degree, Green Norris, that was easy. Getting another job? Even easier. Come here. I respect you so much. I know you care about me, too. I can't work here anymore. I do care about you, Terry. Maybe too much. It's been a whole lot of years. Time is moving faster, it seems I can feel it. Life has changed, but I'm still here. 